Okay. <clears throat> Mask to masks. Modus operandi. I can't deny that there may be a small hint of truth in what you say. So you were knocked out when the thief first. So you were knocked out when the thief first clobbered you. Wait. Oh, like from the first hit, he was knocked yeah. out. I get it. Clobber? What an ugly way of saying it. But I suppose you could put it that way. Power and struck at the precise moment that I turned to look at the computer. So you never noticed that the thief had entered the warehouse? No. The coward must have wormed his way in through somewhere besides the door. Perhaps the air ducts or the sewer pipes. Then my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with this gruesome item here. Ouch. You should have had... You should have his poor head examined. You can say that again. How could he? Ouch! He should have his poor head examined. Thank you, Maya. How could he have underestimated the thief that badly? Okay. <clears throat> well, looks like we got one thing cleared up anyway. Huh? What? Get at me is the greatest ace detective in the whole world. <laughs> what? No, that he never actually saw the thief. Oh, oh, that's right. So the thief may not even be Mask to Mask. Just one moment, sir, lawyer. The thief was unquestionably Mask to Mask. But you never actually saw him. Perhaps so, but I installed a security camera for just such a contingency. Oh. Last night, the camera went off exactly once. Behold, this is a photo of the hey, dastardly the thief taken by the security camera. Finally. That's him. The mask, the mask. Oh my gosh. What is he that holding? Looks pretty cool. Looks like He's a holding really a, shitty oh, it's a box. shitty box. <laughs> no. <laughs> The thief can be none other than the arch criminal Mask de Mask. After all, he has a very good reason for committing such brazen crimes. M what are you talking about? So, what do you mean by he had a very good reason? Exactly that. Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes. There should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. We'll need to go and investigate. What? <laughs> but how would you know about that? <laughs> Have you forgotten? You're speaking to the finest ace detective ever to walk on the face of the earth. The most Wait, brilliant mind since... Well, ever. Look at me. <laughs> Fucking Sherlock Holmes rolling in his grave. Herlock Holmes, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you say, bro? <laughs> Well, I guess we better go take a look, just in case. Okay. Uh, I still love that it's still called Damascus Hideout, even though it's just fucking Ron Delight's apartment. Hey, man. It can be both. Oh, hey. Forgot you were here. It was up. Uh, okay, I didn't, I didn't forget. Yeah, I don't know how I am going to forget that. Here's the envelope. Hey, Nick. Remember what Detective Atme said? You mean like five Hello. seconds ago? Yes. It's me from 30 seconds ago. There <laughs> should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. I'll need it to go and investigate. Oh, thank you. Ah! The green envelope, huh? Looks like this is it. Okay, let's have a look. If you don't want your true identity revealed to the world, Come to KB Security at ele at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand. This is a blackmail letter. It sure looks B -b 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 blackmail. It sure looks like a major clue, all right. 
Major Clue reporting for duty. <laughs> what did the blackmail letter want in exchange for $50,000? Uh, otherwise, they release his secret identity to the world. Oh, okay. okay. Secret identity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Ding dong! No, it, it's not. <laughs> oh, someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Won't take like it, but a second, I promise. We didn't even say hi to you this time. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't have a chance to acknowledge that we were here. <laughs> we just walked in, grabbed your mail, and opened it and started <laughs> reading. <laughs> That's a little bit rude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you for coming. It's so nice of you. When I see a damsel in distress, I just can't help myself. God damn it. Please, come on in. I'll make some coffee. Really? Okay, I guess I'll make myself at home, pretty lady. <laughs> Wait a minute. I know that voice. It's Swedish guy. <laughs> oh, Nikki boy. Guy. I'm so sorry, but I've got another guest. Ah, you. You're. Oh, oh God. No. No. <laughs> no. I forgot that he was here. Yeah, I completely no! forgot that he's in this case. Nick, Why did I do you? deserve this? And Maya, too. What a fluke. Uh, Larry, long time no see. What? You know each other? Nicky boy? Nick, do you and this girl have, you know, on? S something. I you underestimated I... you, Nick. A gorgeous lady like this. And married, too. Way to go, dude. I knew it. Just when things can't get any worse, it's time to cue in the butts. Larry Butts. Ever since grade school, he's been... Not exactly a close friend, but yeah, we know each other. <laughs> Damn, Phoenix, he's like your best friend. Yeah, I was to say, I'm pretty sure in the first game, Phoenix introduced him as my best and oldest friend. Well, yeah, he I'm... sucks, so, um, bummer. Yeah, I mean, he does suck. Yeah. Jeez. Undoubtedly. Yeah, everybody in the comments is, has been remarking, like, Phoenix is really judgy in this game, and it's so true. Like, all of his commentary is like, yeah, fuck this person. Maya's an idiot. Uh, Gumshoe's a poor loser. Fucking. How, how old is Phoenix in this game? Can you check in the court record? I think he should it, be like 26. You... 26, yeah. Uh, yeah. Listen, once you hit 26, that's when you. <laughs> the, the jaded attitude that's actually really true. Yeah. Hitting you. That makes sense. <laughs> uh... Also, to be fair, Maya is an idiot. Yes. And when he calls Maya an idiot, he's not being like untruthful or anything. Yeah. Oh, shit. Larry's reading his mind. Hey, man, that wasn't nice. You were, I, I was your very first client. It's been 25 years since I first met Larry. You know when you were one? And what we used <laughs> yeah, to Yeah, wait. wait. Did he just say that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> we're just fucking like babies. <laughs> just in the same crib. Baby Phoenix. <laughs> and what we used to say still rings true. When something smells, it's usually the butt. Usually Maya in my bathroom. <laughs> See, Pridge, I like this character arc for you. You started off fucking hating us for making these jokes. Oh, now I you're still the one hate you. I you're still hate you making though. these jokes, but they're here. I can't do anything about it. They, they're here. <laughs> they smell. I can't stop it. <laughs> hey, come on. Now you're embarrassing me. And in front of this pretty little thing here. <laughs> Larry, she's 800 miles out of your league, so yeah. don't even try. <laughs> So, you two are old childhood friends, I see. That's so sweet. You two go ahead and catch up on old times. I'm gonna go check on my bike. Wait, God, what? what I wouldn't give to be her bike. <laughs> so Damn, Fridge! <laughs> so fucking <funny>, stupid. <laughs> 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 want to see how fast I, I can be your bike? You want to see how fast you can get me going to 60 miles an hour? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> this 
listen, everybody. Oh. These two are giving my horny jail record a run for its money right now. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> uh, ice girl, that Desi. So, how you been, Nick? Too busy, if you really want to know. Also, this theme, pretty good. I'm into it. Nice uh, little swing beat. Yeah. I think we, we it'll be a very long time till we get to it, but I think my favorite Ace Attorney theme is also another swing beat. Uh, it is a character named Callisto Yu from the Miles Edgeworth games, and she has yeah. a fucking banger of like a big band swing theme. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Dan Gaming Fan cheered five bits saying, defend your horny title, Wes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Valdito Street a bit saying she's married, Larry. Uh, Skepsis present Adrian's profile to him, and several people have told me to present Pearl's profile. Uh, I will do that when we get there. Uh, oh my god, there's still more bird stuff we didn't catch up on. Uh, I smoke a cheered five bit saying I'm holding a grudge against a huge seagull that stole my honey bread. I'm sorry for your loss. Dan Gaming Fan cheered three bits saying for those who don't know, ibises are like egrets but with hummingbird beaks. Interesting. Gay Little Duck cheered a bit, saying, no, it's obviously green. I'm assuming the letter. Uh, and Mika Potato cheered five bits, saying, present Adrian's profile. You get some fun dialogue. Okay, cool. Uh, let's talk to him first, though. Oh, Larry simping for her? I'm sure. So, what have you been up to this whole time? It's been two years since I heard from you. Damn. What? They not even talk this whole time? And what's with these clothes? You look... Well, weird. Hey, man, that's a cold for. This is my uniform from my part-time job. <laughs> I can't believe it's been two years. They say time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's wrong? Nick, I gotta tell you. Women... <laughs> I don't trust him anymore. <laughs> you got dumped again? Well, you know, Benifer? Benifer? <laughs> Not Ben. I don't. Who is Wait, this entire line's amazing. <laughs> this entire line is amazing. Benifer? Well, you know, Benifer? I followed her all the way to Tibet two years ago. <laughs> Benifer? Larry fucking followed a girl named Benifer to Tibet. <laughs> Two Benifer. years ago, and that's why we haven't heard from him, guys. I mean, he was hey. in Tibet with Benifer. <laughs> See, okay, someone just pointed out his last girlfriend was Kianse, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh shit, did they like flip him? Because Benifer oh. for Git would be Beyonce. Must be Kennifer, though. Yeah, but Which I was like, nothing, if they, yeah. if it was, if it was like, uh. <laughs> Beyonce, and then they made like a Beyonce and Jennifer Lopez <laughs> reference. I'd be like, okay, look at you go. Julius Tired says, should have stayed there. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> Benifer. Fucking Benifer. Man. Never forget Benifer. <laughs> Can I get some art of Larry and his harem, please? <laughs> what harem? He just gets dumped. Yeah. <laughs> it's like how the harem of all you're doing is getting dumped. Yeah, his his rejection harem. Yeah, it's not a harem. It's just being a loser. <laughs> it's a harem where he thinks that all the girls are Sundaris, but they actually just really don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just wait till they all say I hate you, Baka. That just means they like me, right? <laughs> That's where I met the famous Caddy Tom in my whole life. Wait, what? Caddy Tom. What is this line? Is that that's got to be a joke? It's got to yeah, be a joke, right? No, so, somebody, giant penguin, where are you at? What's what's the what's the what's the caddy Tom joke? I don't get. Benifer, caddy Tom, never heard of either of them. Because he was in Tibet, anyway. Phoenix. <laughs> anyway, dude, caddy Tom chose Hollywood over me. Can you believe it? I would choose the Arby's by my house over you, dude. Damn. Damn. Well, actually, <laughs> anyway, sounds like you had quite the adventure. Women, they're so, so, ah. Yeah. You can say that again, Larry. Yeah, man. 
Yeah, that's right. Yeah, man. I feel oh, that. But, but, but you're different, so, uh, Maya. You're not like the rest. But shut the uh, fuck you, up. Did you say, Maya, you're not like other girls? Yes, he did. Come on, Hi, Larry. My name is Maya, and I'm not like other girls. <laughs> God damn it. Looks like he's still the same old Larry. For worse or worse. So why you came here? <laughs> why are you in this game? So what are you doing here anyway? Are you having an affair with her? Because I'll kill you. What do you mean by that? I'm just a natural born nice guy, that's all. Oh, he, Larry, he did just Larry's say he's a nice guy. guy. Yeah, Larry's a nice he's guy. A nice who, guy. Says, who says Maya's not like other girls? Oh. Uh, you're being real cringe here, Larry. Yeah. Well, actually, I picked, uh, I picked this up last night while I was working. A wallet? You say that you found this last night? Yeah, it had a driver's license in it, so I figured I'd just return it myself. How did you get the address? Or do they have addresses on driver's licenses? Yeah. Maybe his ID was they in do? there? They do? Okay, sorry. I, just, yes. yeah. I, don't, I don't look at my He's driver's dead. license. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. It's, it just seems wild to me that if somebody steals your license, or ha steals your wallet, has your license, they also you know where you live. find out where you live. That's terrifying. Well, you know, the, 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 the people who keep track of whether you can drive like to know where you live. Yeah, I guess so that's don't fair. get your wallet stolen. Listen, Bridge, I don't know we live in a dystopian government world where the government wants to know where I live. God. We're living in a we're we're living in a dystopian future where Chili the Killer can't post murders on TikTok. I don't want to live <laughs> yeah, in this that's, future anymore. That's pretty dystopian. Mm. Hang on. Let me see that for a minute. I knew it. Desi's picture is in here. Yeah, what did you think, Phoenix? Yeah, I guess he really digs his wife, huh? Oh, wait, what? Hey, Nick, it's not what you're thinking at all. No, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> you haven't <laughs> changed a bit. Oh, no way, man. I mean, she's a married woman. That's just bad news. He really is here just to check out Mrs. Delight. Miss Delight. Wait, you call her Miss uh, Delight? Yeah, Miss. Wouldn't she be Mrs.? I mean, she should be Mrs. Yeah, yeah. okay, just making sure. So you said you found it at your job, right? Yeah, I'm working for a private security company as a guard. Oh God, Larry's master mask. <laughs> <laughs> Chicks just love a guy in uniform, you know? A security guard, huh? So that's what that uniform is all about. So that's what that uniform is all about. So what time was it when you found this, when you found this last night? Huh? Why are you asking me that? I'm trying to see if I've got an alibi. Um, you're not the one on hook for a crime this time, buddy. I guess it was around one in the morning on the first floor of our company building. What was Miss Delight's wallet doing there? Anyway, there's nothing weird about that. After all, he works there. He works there? You mean Mr. Delight? Sure. Here, take a look at this. It's right there in his wallet. What's this card? That, oh, that's the Blue Eyes White Dragon. This God is his key card for the security company. Hey, hey, he's got my wallet. Got a serial number on it right there. There's no mistake about it. You said you were working as a part time, you were working part time at a security company, right? That's right. Why are you making that scary face? Security company, huh? Something's not quite secure about Larry working there. <laughs> <laughs> I need to find out as much as I can about this key card. <laughs> Alright, let me present... present the key card to him? Uh, yeah, let me do that first. So, you're sure about this key card? Yep. That's the key card that they use in the building I work in. According to the serial number, this one is for the CEO's office. Oh, damn. You needed to get into that room, and every time you use that card, it leaves a record. It leaves a record? Oh, nice echo. Yeah, it tells you exactly who entered the room and when. Larry, I need that data. Whoa, slow down, man. Sorry, but that data is off limits to outsiders. If I lost this job, I'd never have a chance with Desi. It's times like these when I wish lawyers weren't so powerless. 
And I wish I could just stab Larry. <laughs> Uh, let's present those profiles that people were wanting us to do. We'll start with Adrian. Whoa! Who is this? Come on, man. Don't hold out on me. Forget about it. It's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Hey, now. You literally I showed it to me. <laughs> Why would you show it to me and tell yeah, me? You weren't going to tell me anything. Yeah, that's hey, the equivalent. Now. I that's thought equivalent. we were pals. Look at this. Look at this cute girl. <laughs> Can't have her. <laughs> I got a major thing for girls with black sleeveless shirts and glasses. That's so specific. <laughs> How do you know that? If they have an orange colored memo <laughs> pad, I really lose my cool. Damn, that's a really specific fetish you have there, Larry. All the ladies out there, if you want to get with Larry, you know what you have to do. <laughs> he has to be making that up. He can't really know Adrian, can he? <laughs> Uh, and the pearl thing, which I'm terrified about, but we'll see what it is. Oh, what a cutie! Hey, Nick. So, what's the deal between you and this girl? Oh my God. Hey, that's my cousin. Her name is Pearl Faye. Pearl, huh? Not too bad. Ever date two girls with the same name? That's one rule I can't break. What? I think the fact that she's only nine years old would break some rule somewhere. Yeesh. Yeesh. Okay. Yeah, dude, don't date girls with the same last name. Damn. All, so, poor, bad luck for all the other Benefers out there. They're fucking going hungry now. <laughs> Missing out on all that Larry action. Mm-hmm. All that, uh, all that, all the butt stuff that shit, they're going to the, do. Jesus, what? The, the, the butts stuff. Oh, okay. Sorry. So we got everything here, right? Uh, I think so. I think we need to go ask Mask to Mask about the key card. Uh, That's what I would sounds guess. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Oh, not here. He's not there. Uh, who else can we ask about that? I mean, we can ask Adney. I don't know what he'd have to say. Yeah, we can also ask what's his, what's her name. Oh, oh, Adrian's probably a good choice. Well, we're here. Might as well. Nope. I'm sorry I can't be more helpful, but I have no interest save that of finding evidence against my arch rival. Ah, uh, it's okay. Nick is just a bit of a piddling, is just a bit of a piddling evidence hog. That's his defense style. Maya, what the fuck? I don't even know what that piddling means. Piddling evidence hog, you say? In that case, I'd simply be wasting my breath. What the fuck? Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm still here. Thanks, Maya. Why couldn't you have said I was a rival and not a piddling evidence hog? What? Stop stop using that phrase like it's a thing people would actually say. All right, let's go see if Adrian knows anything. Maybe we just we gotta have... present more shit to Larry. Uh, Abby, you know, what am I doing? Do I ask time? Present. Uh, he already told us about that. Oh, let's see this. Hey, uh, this is nothing. What about this? Boy, if you got something to say, then say it already. Huh? Oh. A blackmail letter? This was something. Do you know anything about this? What? What? I don't know anything about Alexis, and that's the truth. What? Huh? What? I can't believe you do this to me. I thought you were my friend. $50,000? I don't have that kind of money. No, no, you don't understand. This blackmail letter was sent to Ron Delight. Woo! Man, you scared me. I almost had a heart attack, you idiot. Yeah, Wait, we should, I'm we should idiot? Try black, we should try and blackmail Matt, Larry. We should. It'd be really easy. Man, I was totally confused because it says KB security right on the envelope. Um, yeah. So what? That's where I've got a part-time job at KB security. What? Sounds like I really, sounds like I should really find out some more about this KB security okay, company. Now I bet you can talk to yeah. him. 
Yep. Hey, there baby. KB Security, the company in the blackmail letter. You know about it? That's where I work, yeah. In fact, I'm on the job right now. What? <laughs> I'm oh. sitting in someone else's apartment. <laughs> so what are you doing here, then? Well, the boss is away right now, and you know what mice do when the cat's away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Anyway, how far away is this company? Let me see, well, if it's uh, in this city, it's in, like, one-minute walking distance. Yeah. Uh, about 30 minutes by car, I guess. Damn. Well, if you fly down the road, anyway. Damn. Mm. Well, this apartment building is pretty close to Lordly Taylor, right? It would take roughly an hour to go from here to KB Security and back. Rhonda Light was at KB Security when the robbery occurred, then... Whoa! He couldn't have stolen the sacred urn. Oh, Nick, your phone. Oh, Hello? Is this the right residence? Pearl, do you know how to use a phone? A phone? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So good. I was thinking it, and I was yeah, like... Yeah, I was like, oh, Pridge please, does Pridge does it. Please do it, please do it. A phone? <laughs> uh, Pearls, where are you? I thought I'd go to Lordly Taylor to try and find some more clues, but I'm afraid I've got. Oh my god! I'm afraid I've gotten lost. Bro, you're you're a miner. What? Give me that phone, Nick. Burley, where are you right now? Well, I'm in this wine cellar, and this guy left this oh, drawing no. of his car with a seashell on it. Oh no. <laughs> Um, I was walking along and I found myself in front of that person's office. That person? Who? <laughs> um, that person who doesn't act his age and always says Svari when he's excited. He always says Sabaro, the pizza place. Ah, yes. Luke at me, ace detective. Okay, stay right there. We're coming to get you. Oh. All right. I I'm a little scared. All right. Let's go, Maya. Wait a second, Nick. What? That phone call just now. It sounded like a real cutie. Larry. Fuck up, Larry. Dude, can you fucking calm down? Another one of your... <clears throat> Special friends. Say goodbye to Mrs. Delight for <laughs> say goodbye to Miss Delight for me, would you, Larry? Ah, Mr. Nick, Mystic Maya. Early. Oh. I never thought I'd see the two of you again. <laughs> She's a stupid baby. <laughs> so, is Mr. Ace Detective out of the office? Yes. How did you get in then? How did we when get I in the first time? When I arrived here. I used my expert lockpicking skills to break in. <laughs> I kicked the door down with my massive legs. That's, that's more realistic. Mm. There wasn't a single soul in sight. Say, Nick, doesn't it look like something's changed since we were here last? Now that you mention it. Uh, people are saying examine the fireplace, too. Chat? This is if this is nothing. Whoa, it's a huge hearth. That's a fireplace. <laughs> so, what's the difference? We need to stop judging things based <laughs> on narrow minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Okay, okay, that's pretty good. Right, sorry. Back to narrow minded cultural assumptions, baby. That's pretty good. This 
bag. I'm sure it wasn't here before. It looks quite full. I wonder what could be in here. Hey, Nick. Come on. Open it up. Hey, wait a minute. We could just open his private property. Don't be such a fuddy-duddy. This is an important investigation. Fuddy-duddy. That's <laughs> true. And truth be told, I have to admit I'm kind of curious. Well? What's in there? Hang on a sec. I'm taking it out now. It's Whatever right it out of context. It feels kind of hard. It's smooth. <laughs> like a dildo. Is, is, you, you know what's really what he, funny, isn't that Zach? What he says in the, yeah, yes. Yeah. No, I, I, was I, like, I did that on exactly purpose. That's exactly what he says. That's what uh, the voice actor Phoenix Wright did in the, the outtakes. It's really good. I'll play that, <laughs> I'll play that clip right now. What is this? Something smooth and hard, like a dildo. The f what are you doing? Well, hello there. Ah! He's here. What are you doing, sir lawyer? Don't do your shit. I'm shocked to see a servant of the court ignoring the law so flagrantly. That's what I've done in every game. I I'm really sorry. Maya made me do it. <laughs> Nick! I can't believe you! Immediately throw Maya under the bus? Yep. A gentleman never uses a lady as an excuse for his own poor behavior. The real question is, can you afford to waste time and lollygagging about here? What do you mean by that? Perhaps I should make myself more clear. Tomorrow's trial. Zwari! Shall we say the figurative Sir William will be dropping his panties before lunchtime? I don't know what that means. I have never heard this phrase. Figurative I'm very Sir uncomfortable. Will be dropping uh, his phrase. panties before lunchtime. <laughs> William Aston. God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I don't know what that ref that okay. reference is nothing to me. I'm very yeah. uncomfortable by this phrase. Yeah. Wow, Nick. Sounds like it's gonna be really exciting. Oh, he's uh, probably going to tell us who the prosecutor is. Okay. Um, what's going to happen at the trial tomorrow that's so dramatic? Phoenix, have you Do been you to know what this game? Not at all. Do you know what your biggest mistake so far has been, Sir Lawyer? Talking to you. Got him! <laughs> okay. That was a pretty sick burn. <laughs> it was becoming a lawyer. I'm gonna go uh, cry. I'm gonna go cry for a, li a little bit in the back. That that kind of hurts my feelings. <laughs> that certainly what? does sound like a big mistake, Mister oh, Nick. Oh, Pearl, you're supposed to say you're fuck? not supposed to agree with him. Tomorrow will be a day to remember. I, Luke, at me, will take the stand, and then. Zvari, my testimony will prove to be the undoing of the lot of you. Yes, all of you. I will unmask you as the thief's co-conspirators. What? What? Conspirators? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> You're quick on the defensive, I see. You're going to accuse However, us of stealing the Korean artifacts that we own to Maya <laughs> yeah. that we fucking load to you guys well, not to you it guys, is not but... the I that is your greatest enemy there is a far more dangerous threat that you will face during the trial tigers what are you talking about <laughs> fucking at least tigers are you <laughs> a gun that I will point at you <laughs> Going to, I'm going to shoot your ass. <laughs> Luke Atme's neutral B is a gun. gun. A gun. <laughs> Luke Atme wields a powerful weapon. A gun. gun. Tomorrow we will engage in a game in the most dangerous game. Human. <laughs> Sir Lawyer, if you truly are who you say, I'm sure if you truly are who you say, I'm sure you've heard of him. Dude, despite being like the best lawyer apparently in the world, I know jack shit about every other lawyer. 
Also, did the His current is... necromancer revive Manfred von Karma? Is that what happened? No, no, he's gone. He's he's. I'm not sure if he's canonically dead at this point, but he do die. But yes. What if the necromancer revived him? Oh, oh shit! Undead von Karma prosecutor. Yeah. You think von Karma's scary? Wait till you run into undead von Karma. <laughs> von Harma. His name. Oh. <laughs> His name is Godot. His name is coffee drinking Cyclops man. Godot. <laughs> Like the the play? Can't be honest. How many of you, when you first read that, were like Godot? Oh, back when I was a kid, I yeah, I had no fucking clue. Uh, yeah. And okay, to be fair, let's let's talk about this for one quick second. The pronunciation of the name. Apparently, fuck. Who's who wrote "Waiting for the Show"? Or waiting for the show? Who wrote "Waiting for Godot"? Waiting for waiting for Godot. Oh, uh, I sh Samuel. Uh, you were saying Samuel French. I was about uh, to say Samuel French. But, no. uh, uh, but yeah, according to him, Beckett. It's Samuel Beckett. Beckett. Thank Samuel you. Samuel Beckett. I knew so it was a Samuel. Uh, he has he has specifically said that it is pronounced Gado. Uh, Gado. Despite the fact that I feel like the more popular pronunciation has become Gado. Gado. Um, well, yeah, I'm not going to say Gado. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not gonna say Gado. I think yeah. Gado is a very. It also just flows easier. Yeah, it's great. To try to defend a career criminal who deserves nothing less than the death penalty. Hey, last time I checked, no one knows for sure that Mr. Delight really is Damask. Also, did also he just you say... don't. Also, yeah. you don't get the death penalty <laughs> for you. stealing shit. Yeah. <laughs> Even if this guy stole the Declaration of Independence, you don't yeah, pay the fucking death it's for It's a non-violent crime! You can't get the death penalty for <laughs> non-violent I don't know. Crime. That's that's what's going to happen in our dystopian future. You're going to right-click an NFT, automatic death penalty. Automatic yeah. death penalty. Damn, damn. You're going to steal, you know. steal Val Doodles' FNAS painting, death penalty. <laughs> death penalty? No, you become a national hero for that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Val. <laughs> Sorry, Val. <laughs> <laughs> My dear lady, times may change, but people, sadly, do not. Well, you will understand this when you are more mature. Um, who is this Godot person? It's not surprising that a spirit medium has not heard the name. Godot, prosecutor whose equal cannot be found in this country, but in heaven. Godot, a legend or myth. Men pin a lifetime of hopes or the chance to simply meet him. What? Seems weird. <laughs> Pro prosecutor? the best prosecutor in the country isn't Godot, it's Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> isn't that right, Nick? It's no surprise that a spirit medium such as yourself would know nothing of this. But ace prosecutor Miles Edgeworth is currently traveling abroad. Okay, that feels like you. it's a... Uh... <laughs> Being like, oh, well, he's just out of town but right technically, now. Technically, he's not the best yeah. in the country right now. <laughs> he's the best prosecutor when the actual actually... best prosecutor is out of town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's <laughs> he's more like the second best prosecutor, but yeah. the current one's not here, so he's the best. Yeah. Huh? In fact, it was Mr. Edgeworth who acknowledged Godot as the best in this country. What? And you agree with that? Most certainly. In fact, you could call him the Luke Atby of the prosecutor's office. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my god, he has a giant nose? <laughs> His parents well... fucked him in that dick? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to hear. The prosecution has a fighting chance tomorrow. This, Mr. Nick, is this Godot really that strong? <laughs> Hmm. I seem to remember hearing about someone no, like that. No, you don't. Phoenix. No, you're making shit up. <laughs> yeah, you don't know that. You know nothing, Phoenix. You have you have milk brain right now. <laughs> Not surprising. Some people spend their entire lives idly waiting for his appearance. 
It looks like we're done investigating for the day. <laughs> Wait, it, it does it? A lawyer. The stage has been set, and all the pieces are finally in place. All that remains now is for the dance to begin. The, the dance, dance of, of deduction? deduction? <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can straight up tell that they partly based Herlock Sholmes on a different version of this guy. Yeah, they yeah. have similar attitudes. Yeah. Like, like they, they, they like, like, okay, we already had an eccentric detective, so let's make a different, let's make a slightly different eccentric detective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's like he's like the better ver. Uh, Holmes, Sholmes is like the better version of this guy. Yeah, he's a. I mean, he's actually a good person. <laughs> he's like the yeah, hero the, uh, of this guy. the more the more well defined version of this guy. <laughs> a new prosecutor, an ace detective, and a thief. This is going to be one tough trial. Wow, wow, wow. We actually did finish this in a reasonable time. Yeah, wow. Look at that. Oh, it's a different save theme. <laughs> that is going to do it for another Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer stream. Again, if you like this, head over to twitch.tv slash save data team. You can catch us live on Wednesday nights at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And hey, if you'd like to just throw us a couple bucks and support us, We'd really appreciate it. Head over to patreon.com slash save data team. Throw us a couple bucks and hey, maybe we'll play Delta Room. Y'all want that? Maybe. Uh, all right. Take care, everybody. Have a good night. Bye, everybody. Uh, this is actually super cool. Uh, six has yeah. been working on this throughout the week of making different OCs yeah, this is so cute. into like plushy forms. Uh, so cute. It's so good. And and includes all of us in the bottom right, as well as Bloodlord Meekins, Lot of Heart the Fish, Kobe the Cobra, and Magnus, and Goggles. And Goggles. It's all so good. Uh, Castle Garden, posting early in case I might not make it to the stream. I have a French midterm. Good luck. Uh, it was inspired by the 2021 uh, Capcom Kafka art. Hope you guys like it. This is so cute. It's so cute. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Look at I our love eyes. <laughs> Such dapper boy. Bridge uh, is the dapperest dastard. Yeah, he is a dapper dastard. Hey. Uh, infamously dorky, he decided to refine the whole Gan Gantendorf concept. I'm not going to lie. I, I made an entire sketch dump of content aside from this image. I may have gotten carried away. Hey, guess what? Bro? This is so fucking good. <laughs> and then we got, uh, oh shit, what is this? Uh, this is this is Phoenix <laughs> as Link. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's over, Gant. You're guilty, and there's no way to worm your way out this time. <laughs> Indict me! Oh, shit. Ah! <laughs> it's it's uh, Maya is Nami. Is that, is that Maya? Oh, it's Maya is, is Nami. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Nick. Nick, he's a pig. You get it, Nick? Get it? Because he's a cop? Yes, Maya. We get it. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> and fucking so Edgeworth, good. Edgeworth is Maya is so funny. <laughs> or sorry, Edgeworth is Zelda is so funny. <laughs> uh, oh God, yikes! New to the community, <laughs> and I'm sorry for dumping shit posts on you guys already. But here's my here's the art of my unironically favorite moment from the first game. Oh, that picture. <laughs> Fuck, this is so that's good. Very, that's very cursed. God damn it. This is, it's going to be hard to read this. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he calls him Blanco Nino. Yep. Oh, Blanco Nino, you make my hemorrhoids tremble. <laughs> oh, Grossy, you're a masterpiece. I yearn to steal away and pin against my wall. Oh, my God. I knew it. They are lovers. No, we are not lovers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> our first impression of uh, Desiree. She, <laughs> all of so I'm. So he's got to be compensating, right? Of course he'd be compensating. How else would he be dating you? I just refuse to believe that shit. There's no way this dude is dating you. Prage over <laughs> here. Are you single? Are you single? Are you single? Are you single? <laughs> Okay, but what if we made the text box smaller, like a lot smaller? We should get rid of it, actually. She, needs, she doesn't even need a text box. Oh, my God. The very yeah, end. Your tits are fucking fantastic. <laughs> uh, Rose, with uh, some more of, of uh, 
the, the ship. Uh, I don't know what the ship name is, so I'm going to call it Looks Like a Cinnamon Roll Will Kill You Couple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. cookie. Hey, Flower, is something wrong? You're staring. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> the fucking loves cats. Psst, 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 psst. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Rez. Uh, Spider Friend, which is now spin -vreened. I'm a, a m m m mass mass. Oh, he's so cute. Uh, ATM, just a girl boss and her male wife. Hell yeah. Excellent. <laughs> so cute. This is awesome. Oh my god. Yeah, no, this Fucking is... Fucking at me is Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> Holy sh... <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. There we go. Uh, Giant Five Head with the next week's super hype. Yo, this is really good. This yeah, is a really, this good, really good, good Oh, man. I'm so excited for him next week. Yeah, dude. Uh, Corona Wizard, based on the last case, here's a parody of that one Batman comic panel where he slaps Robin. First is the straight from the original. My own twist, followed by the one for case one and one for game one. Don't tell me I'm wrong, you swine. Proving Hawthorne's guilt is my whole mission in life. Oh, Mia, your grief obs has obsessed. Your grief has obsessed you with this idea of vengeance. I beg you, give it up. Hey, Mia, what do you think about my hip? <laughs> my boyfriend is dead. <laughs> hey, Mr. Wright, what do you think of Chun Li in Fortnite? Mia is dead. <laughs> this is so fucking funny. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> yeah, you really captured the art style of that, too. I love that meme. Seriously. <laughs> Great job, Kurt Wizard. <laughs> uh, Kale the Conqueror, some sketches because my art finally decided to be somewhat consistent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Gonna cry your that's piss. Good. Gonna cry, piss your pants, maybe. <laughs> oh! 